And there are a lot of people who are upset with you about your comments about uh, Deion Sanders and his son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I made every word. Welcome to another MVP podcast. My name is Dale, and today we're talking about the comedian Charleston White disrespecting Deion Sanders after the Oregon loss. Check this out. Yeah, uh, speaking of the internet, there are a lot of people who are upset with you about your comments about uh, Deion Sanders and his son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean every word. Yeah, yeah I mean every word. Uh, and I did want to say this. Fuck the Deion and his son. They got to find no football player in there. They're not into sports at all. Uh, I'm a revolutionary kind of nigga. So when I look at my culture and my race and my people rallying around a nigga that's coaching at a white boy school, they benefit more than us. We've taken all of our support to go over there to encourage them. We, if we just did one school like that every year, our HBCUs wouldn't struggle with money. If we did that for one, that one game that they did, if they did one HBC school like that a year, they wouldn't struggle for money. If we did all of that, if we gave one coach the same support, one weekend, just one weekend, fam, Jay-Z, a uh, 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 little way, all of the stars come out to just one black school. One weekend out. Come on, homie. It, it, it would generate the same kind of money. Last year, it cost $450 to go to a Colorado University football game for the whole year. One seat cost that now. So last year and two years before that, the internet, black Twitter, and everybody was on hashtag HBCU. I haven't seen one hashtag HBCU this year yet. White school, 99% predominantly white. With a few black token there. Run, run. Run. And y'all think Dion doing this for black kids? He's doing this so his son can go first round draft pick quarterback. What's he, wrong with that? Nothing's wrong with it. So black people, stop supporting hell. Because you got people in your own city you could ignore. When they saw and told you. Dion, Dion did it here in Dallas. He didn't do nothing around here, nigga, for y'all to run and support him. But the same black Ling Lee coaches y'all pass by in the city begging for money on the corners, car washes. Y'all don't get him nothing, no support. Your black high school coaches that's struggling, win and go. Y'all don't travel with them. No celebrity shows up. What black HBC you winning right now? Can you name one? Mm-mm. Come on, y'all. Can you name me one black HBC you coach? When when Dion was at uh, Jackson State, a lot of people supported him at Jackson State. I feel like he did his just do. I mean, I, I'm he he did his just do. But we're talking about the our people, black people. Why did we abandon Jackson State? No, hold on, hold on. Why did we abandon the hashtag HBCU? Because Dion no longer is with the black people. Now we over here with the white people. Hashtag Colorado. Make it make sense. The same reason we went Black Lives Matter and white people took it over. Same reason they don't have Black Lives Matter wrote on the NBA courts no more. Same reason we're not protesting. Same reason we're not mad anymore. White men gave us something. I noticed during the George Floyd rise, he gave us something. He gave us basketball. He gave us basketball. Remember? Yep. Not only did he give us basketball, he let the angry put crazy names on the back of his white boy jersey. Lil Ray Ray. Double John Jackson. They put them names on the back of them jerseys no more. We are the only race of people that look to our entertainers as our leaders. No other races don't look to Garth Brooks and Tom Brady for a mother thing. When it was time to storm the Capitol, they didn't call on no NFL quarterback. When it's time to do economics, 
They don't call on football coaches. We do. But why wish injury on his son though? Uh, because when 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 that when that when that woman, I can't think of her name. When they started the NFL season, she got two babies by an NFL player. And she put a bounty out on both her baby daddy, hoping somebody injured him. Right? There was no outrage. The reason I'm putting a bounty out on it because I thought you're supposed to hurt one another in football. I thought football was a war game for gladiators, barbaric. You come out to hurt. You hit, you try to hurt him. I thought that what football was about. And you get reward. The, 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 the New Orleans Saints coaches did it seven, eight years ago. They got suspended for it. They was telling their players, if you hurt him, I won't give you 20 more thousand. Come on, homie. I thought that's what we did in football. Why are we getting so weak? I thought you were supposed to be trying to kill him. Hit him. He come across that middle with the bone. You trying to flip him and make him land on his neck like Michael Irvin did. Season injury hit and you brag about it. I thought that's what you did, man. Am I wrong? Yeah, but he, I mean, but he's trying to get in the league. If he I gets injured. I wouldn't care if it's him that can get in the league. If you hit him right, it's a, it's a middle linebacker. If you paralyze this boy, you go like that What that that, that defensive end on the moon and they try to break every knee. I thought that's what you did. We used to praise Lawrence Taylor for it. We used to go crazy when Lawrence Taylor them dirty hits. I thought when you was trying to get the ball, y'all poke each other's in the eyes in the, under the other pile. I thought that's what you did. Twist angle. I thought that's what you did. Why y'all so sensitive now? Video game playing. I had to be playing throw up tackle. Next side line kill. You try to run out of bounds, they'll hit you. That one with no pass. You not weak, nigga. You goddamn right you want to hit a nigga and make it. That's the name of the game, nigga. And if you don't want to get hurt, you're not trying to injure nobody, man, play flag football. Now, you said on many occasions, on record, too, that you would sell out if you would sell out. You you said that plenty of times yeah. on my interviews, and, on and, other and, interviews. And when, I, and when I got my chance to sell out, you know what I came back and told y'all? Yeah, homie, I thought I would sell out. I came back and admitted to y'all. It done a million in one day. I came back and admitted to y'all, say for how I had the chance to sell out, and I did. So I say a lot of shit that I don't mean. I say a lot of shit I don't mean. So is Dion is Dion going to Colorado selling out? Black people sold out for Dion. Dion took a job just like every other white boy's job. He was working for his uncle. Cutting grass over here. He really wasn't making a lot of money cutting grass with his uncle. White boy gave him a warehouse job. Now he's a supervisor. He get to make plant manager. Now, we sold out for a nigga went and got a white boy's job. This ain't about Dion. I'm saying Dion, nigga. This about us, nigga. Follow this over here with all these black coaches out here, and we can't get the light. We can't bring this over here to not one black coach right with a at a black school. So there ain't no black schools that's winning with a black coach. But what that goes to show me and what I want us to know, we ain't shit until the white man validate us. So y'all stop mm. talking like that. We ain't shit till the white man stamp us and approve us. And Tony said, boy, I'm proud of you. Because we can't name one black coach that's winning without that white man's validation. I agree with you. I, I think it starts with the players. I think... The most talented players don't go HBCU. They're just brain. Everybody's brainwashed to go D1. D1 is where the scholars, I mean, the scouts are looking, the NFL scouts. But that's where you what, get homie, the. If black folks look, they look where we look. This world watches us through our eyes. Wherever we turn our head to look, they look. Colorado been a D1. Wasn't nobody looking until we started looking. They're watching what we're watching. They're watching what we're watching. It's no difference when they say, boy, look at all them niggas eating at that nigga restaurant. It's building our planes now. They building Black Wall Street. Hey, you know what? 
Send somebody there there to get that king boy. God damn it. Go get that king boy. See, Dr. King was the first Deion Sanders. Dr. King, go get Dr. King away from his people. Bring him over here. And rather than him saying equal rights and equal protection under the law, we're going to tell him to say integration. Desegregation. You know why? Because we would benefit more if them come over here and eight. We would benefit more if the Negro League came over and joined the major leagues. We would benefit more. We're not, because all of them would come over here now and we would monopolize them. We would control them. We would conquer their consumerism because they're going to bring it all over here. They're going to buy our donuts. They're going to buy our hot dog, our popcorn, our nachos, our drinks, our parking spaces. They're going to start buying our jerseys or our numbers are going to go up. And it's going to take away from the mom and pop black store. It's going to take away the viewership over here. It'll further push these black people away from this big spotlight and this D1 platform because they're all over here. We know the best and fastest players are down there. They don't have the best equipment. They don't have the best training. They don't have the resources to stay healthy, to condition. They live in impoverished conditions. So it's easy to beat them. It's easy to beat them. But hey, go get me a few of them. We'll use Dion to recruit their best, homie. So they're going to get Dion, and he's going to go get our best and brightest players. And we'll get left with the crumb. They've been running this trick on us forever, my n***a. It's just that this new group don't know nothing. It's follow the leader. If Dion invited you to Colorado, would you go? I would not go. Fuck, I'm going to go to Colorado for... This guy obviously has some issue with Deion Sanders. Not in support of him at all. I don't know what Deion did to him. I don't know how Deion affects him. But he's so passionate about his opinion here. To me, it's almost like Deion stole this girl or something like that. I'm not familiar with him. And how he speaks about other issues but this just seems like way over the top for somebody to be so angry and speak so passionately wishing for another black man to fail it's just strange to me w wishing another man period to fail actually just strange to me at all and then to go on you know about wishing that his sons get injured I didn't even know that he said that. Nobody reported it. Right? But these are not the kind of people that we need in sports. And I'm happy that most people in the community are not like Charleston White. I'm not familiar with him enough to know if he's doing this just for attention or if this is his true feelings. But if it is his true feelings, uh, I don't know. He, he, he really has some issues that he has to deal with. It's way easier for you to do your part in whatever community you're in than to try to bring down another person and try to wish bad on another person as well. But knowing Deion Sanders, right, he might have lost one game, but he's going to bounce back and he's going to end up being a winner. And these people like this, they're going to have to be quiet. They're going to have to scurry away. Right, and not talk anymore they have to find some other issues to be negative about because they won't be able to talk about Dion anymore it happened when, when he was playing it happened when he was on TV and it's happening now when he's coaching so let's say he wins a national championship or something like that I'm sure we won't be hearing anything about Charleston White disrespecting Dion or his sons ever again but I just want to show this video so you guys see what's happening and what kind of people that we have out here. All right. So that's about it. So until next time.